Hey guys, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of our facial recognition cameras uh, on our Vutron NVR. So that, that's a Vutron uh, AI camera behind me. And I'm going to show you how to set up facial detection on the NVR, uh, which will detect any faces that come into this area. And then uh, I'm going to set up facial recognition to identify certain faces uh, that when they're identified, it'll trigger an alert, a push notification and recording and a bookmarked event on the NVR. Um, notice that I have that camera mounted pretty low. In order to do face detection and facial recognition, ideally the camera needs to be mounted as level as possible to faces. So we have that camera mounted at six and a half feet high, which, which is a good frame of reference to use. And you can see we just have it temporarily set up because we're playing with it. That we didn't even tuck the cable away yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to capture some faces via the facial rec uh, facial detection of that camera on the NVR and then taking those snapshot images on the NVR and putting them into a facial recognition database on the NVR to trigger the alert. Here's the live security camera view on the NVR and I'll switch to the full screen of the facial detection camera that we're going to be using and then I'm going to go to the menu system of the NVR and select settings right here. And then on the main settings screens under AI event, I'm going to select facial recognition and then I'm going to select detection first and you enable the checkbox, the enable detection by IPC, and then you draw that detection zone there on the screen. And then you could also display the range of the face sizes by percentage. You can adjust these and I'm just going to pose here for a second and show you uh, that that's a pretty good uh, range for a close up uh, facial recognition. And then when I'm done, I click on the apply button down here in the lower right and then close that out and I'm back at the live view. So I'm going to enable this target detection screen over here on the right. That'll display all the faces that are detected. And you'll see it, it captured James here. That wasn't that wasn't planned for the video, but, th but that's fine. I'm going to do a more close-up shot for me because I want to add my face to the database. So I intentionally go closer to the camera to get a more close shot, closer uh, shot of my face because I'm going to use mine in the database. So next, uh, next I'll click back there to close out that screen. And then I'm going to select the uh, intelligent analytics uh, search from the menu over here. And then on the intelligent analytics search screen, I'm going to select face and search for all the faces that were detected today. As I mentioned, I had this enabled earlier. So there's a bunch of me in here and a couple of the other guys. So what I want to do is if you click on any of them, you can play back the video in the lower right, but that's not the main thing I want to do. If I click on those three dots, I can select register from this menu. And what the register does is it allows me to take that snapshot of my face and add it to the facial recognition database. So I'll just uh, give me a name here and I'm not going to fill out any of the other information, uh, sex, birth date and all that stuff. I don't need that, but you do need to add a group. So I'm going to add a group called alarm because these are all the faces that I want to trigger an alarm. So we'll add that group and we'll add Mike to the alarm face group. When I'm done, I could click exit. And then I'll uh, I'll add one more face. So we'll add uh, Greg. This is this is Greg, my business partner. And uh, again, from more, I can select register and then uh, give Greg a name here. And I'm not going to fill out any of the other details. I'm going to add him to that same alert group, and then click OK. And then exit. And then I'll close out of this screen. And now I'm back at the live view. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into settings and go into the face database so you can see uh, under the alert group, there's two faces, mine and Greg's. So I'll close that back out and we'll go back to the live security camera view again. Uh, sorry, one more thing. Uh, if I go into, uh, I'm going to set up facial recognition now. So I'm going to enable sex, uh, successful recognition. Uh, in the face group alert that we just created and I'm going to set it to a 24 hours a day seven days a week schedule and I'll set it to set up a push notification and a pop-up message box it, it's also going to record and create a thumbnail that's already set up and when I'm done I'll click apply uh, sorry I'll click the snapshot and I'll add snapshot as well 
So now I'll back at the live view again. And I'm going to enable the uh, target detection again, but I'm going to do it in, in a different way this time. You can also enable it by uh, this menu over here by selecting target detection. And that will show you all the events that have occurred that have occurred previously too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, exit the room and come back in. And this time when it detects my face, it, it should match me up against my face in the database. So. Uh, let's see here. Here's the match. There's the alert. So I, I, there, there, there's the alert. And if I had my uh, cell phone on and the push enabled, I would have got a push notification there too. So when the uh, face matches, it shows what face it, it got matched up to in that target detection area. So I'm going to test now without my hat in, in the database. I'm wearing a hat. So I want to see if it also detects my face with no hat. And it does with 89% accuracy. Although the database has me wearing a hat, it can detect my face without the hat on as well. So I'll click OK there to close that out. And if I wanted to play back any of the events, you could click the playback button on any of these thumbnail images, and that'll start playing back the recorded video. And the player controls down here, you can go in forward or reverse. And when you're done, you could just close out the screen by clicking that X in the lower right. And now I'm back at the live view in the four camera security camera view. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. I want to mention a couple things before we wrap up. So I think it was pretty clear, but just in case, facial uh, de face detection is the camera's ability to detect faces generically that come into view. Facial recognition is when you have a, a, a face database set up on the Viewtron NVR to identify certain faces and then take an alarm action on those, such as a push notification to the mobile app. Uh, you could trigger an external alarm sensor like a, a light or a siren uh, or a pop-up event on the desktop software. Um, that's the difference between face detection and facial uh, recognition. Um, again. You, you, in order to set up facial recognition on these Viewtron AI security cameras, the camera has to be mounted pretty low. That six and a half foot height that we used here worked very well. So I, I recommend using that and not going uh, much higher than it. Um, in addition to the face detection and facial recognition features of these Viewtron AI cameras, they can also be set up to with intrusion zones for human detection, vehicle detection, and, and non-motorized vehicles like uh, bicycles. So they could do any one of those types of AI uh, uh, types of events. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I can be reached directly via email at Mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you want to learn more about face detection, facial recognition, and the other AI software functions that these Viewtron AI cameras have, we have a whole bunch of demo videos on our website at www.cctvcamerapros.com slash AI. Thank you for watching.